Welcome to the JavaScript for Pentesters course at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, I will give you a quick introduction to JavaScript and we will write the customary Hello World program. So putting it very simply, JavaScript was invented at Netscape and aimed at providing interactivity with the user. So HTML was really responsible for creating the layout. CSS was pretty much for beautifying the look and feel. And JavaScript was aimed at providing interactivity with the user. Now, typically JavaScript was a client side scripting language, which is interpreted and runs entirely within the browser sandbox. And this is really the JavaScript which you will talk about in JavaScript for pen testers. However, please note that lately JavaScript has also been uh, started to use server side in frameworks like node.js, etc. Uh, these are currently excluded from the scope of this series. Now, in a typical implementation, JavaScript code is embedded within the script tag. Let's take an example. So let's create a file called demo.html. It's a very simple file. A body tag. Close the body tag. Close the HTML tag. And as an example, let me put the script tag within the body tag. And let me put in our customary hello world in here. So to go ahead and display an alert to the user, as you've probably seen in previous videos, if you're following Pentester Academy, it's simply alert. Hello, JS for pen testers, semicolon ends it. And we can go in here. We can go ahead and open this file up, let's say in Firefox. And as you can clearly see, we have the alert Hello, JS for pen testers. Fantastic. Now, there are multiple places in which JavaScript can be placed. Uh, we could even place it above the body within the head tag. So refresh the page and once again you have hello js for pen testers being alerted to us fantastic so this is probably a very simple example uh, in this series we will learn about writing javascript code and then applying it to various use cases for web application pen testing now it is important to note that JavaScript is case sensitive. Uh, so you need to ensure that you do not go ahead and mix up upper and lower case when using uh, some of the uh, inbuilt calls or probably while naming variables and stuff like that, right? Uh, also it's important to note that the browser executes JavaScript sequentially as it encounters it. So what do I mean by that? If I go back in here and let's say within the body tag, I basically put in an H1 tag. It says, hello JS for print testers, close the H1 tag. Go back in here, refresh this page. And you would notice right now, the h1 tag details have not been displayed at all right 
It's simply because the JavaScript code is executing sequentially, uh, sorry, the browser executes what it encounters sequentially, and this code is the one which is currently executed. And when we call alert, alert pretty much waits for the user to click on OK. And only after we click OK, the rest of the part would be executed and rendered. So if I click OK, you would now find that the rest of it, hello JS for pen testers, is now printed on the screen. Now just to prove that our hypothesis is correct, we could cut out this JavaScript from in here, paste it here, go back, and let's open this up probably totally afresh. And if you notice right now, you already see that hello JS for pen testers has been rendered. And after that, the JavaScript alert is executed, which pops up this screen, right? This proves that we need to ensure when writing JavaScript that we take this behavior into account. That's all I had in mind for this introduction video. Uh, in the next video, we would look at variables in JavaScript. Now, if you're enjoying your time here at Pentester Academy, then we would really request and appreciate if you can recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.